Good morning to everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 3.30 a.m. on the dot here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I was going to talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Let me talk about the video. I'm going to do this video. I'm still going to do it, but I'm going to talk about uh, Matthew Stratford's wife, Kelly, and the troll. But I was going to talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene. She was on a podcast, and she did one of these, like, who, you know, who's Nick Fuentes kind of things. You know, she actually spoke at one of his America First meetings. Uh, there's pictures of her, you know, shaking his hand with their arms around each other. And now she's saying, who is, you know, who is he? You know, uh, he must be an immature, she actually says this, he must be an immature young boy. Um, and, and, and then she, she goes like this, who is he anyway? He's just somebody that Googles and has a podcast. He's not anybody in the know. He's not an elected official or a government employee. Yeah, and, and that caught my attention, you know, because it's this. this you have to stay tuned for this video because uh, I have to flip flop here myself because I don't like Nick Fuentes, but I'm doing the same thing Nick Fuentes does. I'm one of those podcasters, one of those vloggers here on this channel, you know, that Google supposedly Google stuff, and I'm not in the know. But anyway. That's what I was, that's what I'm going to talk about in the future. Okay. I found this other story I want to talk about. It's about Matthew Strat Stafford. I got to be, I got to be honest. I had to Google who this guy was. Uh, you know, at 56 years old, I, I couldn't give a, a flying fig Newton about uh, sports. I, I really couldn't. It, to me, it's a total waste of time. I, I really don't care about winning or losing. I, I, I get a kick out of those people who say, Are we, we won, you know, when they're talking about a, a team across the country. But anyway, I had to Google who he was. Matthew Stafford. He's a he's a quarterback for the I don't know is it Stafford or Staff, Stafford? Mike Mike uh, Matthew Stafford. He's a quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams. His, his wife Kelly, I believe it's an Instagram post. I'll put all the links down below. Uh, she put a post up of her and her three or four kids. I didn't count the kids. Three or four kids. She's sitting on the field. It's a it's a great picture. A lot of the girls I know from high school post pictures like this with their kids. You know, they can you can tell it's love. They're, they're happy and, and good for them. You know, but there's always got to be a hater. I'm always amazed at the haters. There's people that watch my channel every single day, watch my video from beginning to end, just to hate everything I do and everything I say and everything I talk about and all my opinions. And I, I love them. I, I love them, man, because, you know, the, the views of you. But anyway, so this, this, this troll sees this post of, of, of Matthew Stafford's wife, Kelly. And he, he puts up, he says uh, something along the lines of, you could have put on a little makeup. You know, Matt, Matt, Matthew could get any girl he wants. You know, maybe I should have took the time to put on a little makeup. And Kelly goes off on him. She calls him a misogynistic. I gotta watch, watch my language here, even with something like this. A misogynistic, well, I'll say oinker. Okay? I, I gotta really watch what I'm saying these days. But then she comes back and actually apologizes. She apologizes to this guy for calling him a misogynistic uh, oinker. And I, I thought that was big of her. It reminds me of stuff I did. Like, I'll lay it to people here, and then I'll think better of it. You know, if people are going to say what they're going to say, and I can't change that, and so be it. You know, so she apologizes to him. I want to talk about that just a little bit. This, this guy. It reminds me of Nick Fuentes. It reminds me of his fans. I'm not ranking on his fans. To me, his fans are just immature and misguided. To me, they're people, they're, they're, they're younger kids, younger guys that probably never have had a relationship, never fallen in love, never understood what a real mature relationship is like, what love really is. Um, so, yeah, he says, you know, you should put on a little makeup. The first thing that amazed me about this is that a guy would actually suggest this to a woman about makeup, make a suggestion about makeup. On a, on a social media platform. To me, this is like a woman suggesting uh, what kind of jock strap a guy should wear on a social media post. Well, maybe, hey, maybe that, that, doesn't, that jock strap doesn't look like it fits you that quite well. Maybe you should use this brand or that brand. That's what it's like to me. He's talking about something he knows absolutely nothing about. You know, I don't know anything about makeup. I don't know a lip liner from a gloss, from a shadow, uh, 
there's these things on TV now called Boomsticks or something. The Boomstick Trio. I see this commercial and I have no idea what these things are. There's, they're, they look like three crayons. You know, so I have no idea. Even at 56 years old, I have no, no idea about makeup. I would never, I don't, one thing you learn as a man, you don't, you just tell the woman she looks beautiful. And, they, and when you're in love, they always look beautiful. Let me talk about that a little more, about a mature relationship. Um, I've seen how women are un insecure in their looks. Uh, I've been in love with four women throughout my life. I've had uh, probably about a hundred different relationships. There's four women that I lived with that I could say I loved. Uh, Audrey, Paula, within the last 16 years since I've been clean and sober. Sonia, my high school sweetheart, and Roseanne, kind of in between. The four women I've absolutely loved. And all of them, once you're, you're with a woman and you love her and you're in a long-term relationship, you see the insecurities that these women have. And... This is what I want to talk about. It, it makes my heart grow fonder. Whenever I see a woman, the women I love, uh, you know, insecure, like looking like Paula. I'm going to take Paula, for instance. Uh, she thought her toes were a little, she, she was a little pigeon-toed. She thought her nose was a little too big. And when I looked at her, like when she woke up in the morning, those little things that she thought were false, false or flaws, were the things that made my heart just break with love. The flaws. I don't know why this is. Uh, when you're younger, like, you know, like these guys, immature, I think you're out there looking to uh, impress. The main reason you get in these relationships is to impress your buddies. It's all about your, 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 your ranking, your status with your, your buddies when you're younger. When you get in a real mature relationship and you love a woman... Everything outside of that ceases to matter, besides for your love for that woman and the subsequent family you'll have. Uh, yeah, I see women applying makeup. Throughout my whole life, I've seen women applying makeup, and it just it amazes me how important it is to them, to their looks. Uh, you know, I see, I saw Audrey put on makeup for hours. You know, she had to put this makeup on. I remember when I first started dating her, it was a hot, hot day, 90 degrees, and I went to the restaurant she was managing, and we were standing out in the sun, and I could see this, the hot sun hitting her face, and I could see the makeup, and it just looked so uncomfortable. We talked about this after, like a year later, when we were living together and in love, you know, and I told her, I said, I wish you just, you didn't even bother putting that makeup on, and she, I could see the look on her face, this just look of relief and love for me. You know, I told you, you know, you look so uncomfortable with that makeup, that makeup, the hot, the hot sun on the, the makeup on your face. And I felt bad, you know, that you were doing that for me, that you didn't need to do that for me. It wasn't just, it wasn't the color of your cheeks that made me fall in love with you. It wasn't, it's not, it's, that's not what even attracts me to you. When you're young and immature, that might make a difference. But when you're older, you realize that that stuff doesn't mean anything. Uh, the opinion of, of your buddies means nothing. It's the little things. Uh, this is something I've learned especially in just the last 16 years since I've been clean and sober and been in real, mature, clean and sober relationships. When I see the things that make my heart break with just, just, oh, just, just split open with love for a woman is when I see a her, one of her so-called faults or flaws. Um... You know, like I said, one, one girl thought she had, was pigeon-toed. Um, Audrey felt insecure about her weight. But I, I loved her entire body. I, I loved the parts. I, the parts I loved the most were the parts that she loved the least because that's what made her her. That's what made her different from all the other girls. And her insecurity just made me love her and want to protect her and, and just my heart break with love because I felt she didn't need to feel like that. She was beautiful inside and out. She didn't need to put on that makeup. She didn't need to worry about her flaws or faults as she thought they were. To me, they were the things that made her unique, that made me love her. Um, so going back to this guy who thinks that Matthew Strafford could get all these other women. So, you know, Kelly better put some makeup on, you know, I can guarantee, it's just what I just said, I can guarantee this guy 
has never been in a real relationship, never been in true love. It's probably under 20 years old, 25 years old, probably a Nick Fuentes fan. And like I said, I'm not ranking on him. I feel sorry for him. Uh, when, you, when you grow up, when you get older, you'll realize what true love is. And uh, it's not impressing your buddies. And it's not somebody with makeup on and all that other stuff. All right, the links will be down below. I'll talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene in the next video. You guys have a great Thursday.